Hey, what's up guys? Daniel here in Tech Studio, your one-stop shop for affordable tech. Sony's new headphones, the Sony XB910N, successor to the Sony XB900N. Is this the one to get? Let's get into it. So these 900s have been my go-tos for like almost two years. These are my babies. And is this 910 good enough to replace it? Well, in the 910s, we have $250 full price on sale for 148. Active noise canceling, so noise canceling and ambient sound mode to hear your surroundings. 30 hour battery with quick charging. So 10 minutes of charging will get you four and a half hours of playtime. So you'll never have a problem with battery life. Connect two devices at the same time headphone jack with touch controls and extra bass, which is what I'm here for. And all this connects to the headphones app. You can adjust DSEE and EQ and all kinds of other settings. Overall, very solid specs. The design is okay. Pretty boring. It looks nearly identical to the 900s. If they were in a lineup and I had to pick the 910 out, I'd I wouldn't be able to do it. Honestly, the best part of the design is the hard case that it comes in. <laughs> the 900s came in a bag, so that's just ghetto. <laughs> it's a really lovely travel case that I used on my travel vlogs. Check that out below the like button. And while you're down there, go ahead and subscribe. Yeah, thank you. In the case, you also get a charge cable and an aux cable. Comfort and build quality is, is good. It's exactly what you expect from $250 headphones. There's no surprises here, but there's also no spice. Where's the spice, Sony? All right, so the only thing that matters to sum up how the 910s sound, they sound somehow not as good as the 900s. So let me explain. The sound is really good on both of these. It is so bass heavy, which is my preference for sure. But the 900s have already been my favorite headphones and these 910s are not at the same quality. The design is missing the spice and so is the sound quality. It sounds uh, kind of, it sounds a bit empty or hollow, like they sucked all the air out of it or something. Don't get me wrong. You will be satisfied with these if you get them. The sound quality is not bad, but it's not better or even as good as the 900s. So then that brings up the question of why? Why does this even exist? Also an interesting thing, this 910 doesn't have the same features in the app that the 900s do. So the 900s have surround sound modes, which is honestly my favorite feature of these headphones. These let you change the way the music feels. My favorites are arena and club mode, and it legit sounds like you're in an arena or a club. This is really surprising because the 910s are supposed to be the successors to the 900s. XB910, XB900, it's supposed to be 10 better. So then why do the 910s not have this feature? So, okay, just to recap the new 910s and the previous 900s, okay? 910s have a little bit worse sound quality, nearly identical design, and no surround sound. So how is that in any way a successor? Oh, and, and the active noise canceling is barely even passable as active noise canceling. It's pretty weak, I'm not gonna lie. Like they got it from the Dollar Tree and slapped it on to justify a $250 price. I'm just a little disappointed. You know, Sony isn't really a brand to make these kinds of missteps. And this is definitely a step backwards. You know what this is? This 910 is the 900's Luigi. That's what these are. So are they worth it? Um, um, no. no. I mean, why be Luigi when you could just be Mario? Yeah. I'm giving the XB910 a three out of five chilies. It's not a bad pair of headphones, but they don't match the ones that they're replacing. Just get the 900s instead.